Hi guys, welcome to this next video on Node Express MongoDB tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about few security measures we need to add in our project so that our server, which is written in Node Express, is not hacked and is not leaking any secret information of our config.env file or any password from the database. So the first package that I'll be installing in this project is called Helmet. If we check its documentation, helmet.js, and you can see that it helps secure express apps by setting HTTP response headers. Okay, and it automatically manage everything and add different headers. Uh, if I go to my postman and you can see that in all the APIs, there are seven headers added. But if we add the helmet as a middleware, it will add some extra headers over here to make sure that we have a security enabled in our system for HTTP response headers. So now let's add here and I'm going to install helmet. So first of all, I'm going to write npm install helmet and uh, it is getting installed so let's try to import it at the top so i'm going to write const helmet equals to require and then helmet okay so it has been imported what we need to do is we only need to add it as a middleware just like we have added this morgan okay so i'm gonna come here below this routes or uh, i can come in fact i can write here so i'm going to write app dot use and then the helmet which is a function if we see its documentation uh, this is the line we need to add and that's pretty much it so this will actually add some extra headers so i'll show you by running an api on my postman and see if extra headers are added or not so let's go to postman i'm going to hit send and uh, it is actually waiting for db connection yes and it should return us a response and now you can see that earlier there was only seven headers now there are 18 headers added so whenever you build express server uh, you need to use this helmet and it really helps in the security of your application okay the second package that i will be installing is the limiter limiter package is actually very famous so limiter npm so express rate limit is what i will be using so you can see that it has this much weekly downloading it actually stops particular ips to send requests to your apis multiple times so if someone is actually using your server calling the apis and they are running running any kind of bots or automation scripts they are keep on calling your apis millions of time in a minute an hour or a day then your server can crash and wherever you have deployed your server it can cost you a lot okay so using this package we can limit the number of requests can be sent from a particular ip address from anywhere in the world okay so now let me install this in my project so npm install express rate limit okay once it's getting installed let's go ahead and here i'm going to import it so i'm going to name it rate limit equals to express rate limit and just like i've added this middleware and uh, just below this i will configure my limiter <coughs> so my tab 9 ai assistant extension of vs code is already suggesting me something i think it's pretty much everything it is actually showed me so window ms first of all max 100 means uh, that uh, one ip should be able to uh, send the request to any of our ips the backend the apis uh in one hour and uh, we need to it is actually 15 minutes okay so let's make it 10 and we can actually send a message as well here so too many requests from this ip please try again in 15 minutes okay and then i need to add it as a middleware so app dot use i can actually add initial so over all apis are starting with the api slash api so that's why i have written this 
and then I can add the limiter which I have created above. Okay, so let's save it. And uh, what it will do is I will keep on hitting the APIs which I've already using the get nodes, and uh, I will see that if I'm able to hit this API more than 10 times or not, and it will also show in headers that how many requests are left for us to actually hit the APIs. So now let's send to get the notes. And now you can see that it has added some extra headers here. And you can see this is the X rate limit here. We can change the name of it as well because it's the postman. So limit remaining total requests are allowed are 10 and the nine are left. Okay, let's try to send again. You can see eight. Let's try to send 10 API calls to this. So I'm going to hit send again and again. And I just want to see the message error message, which I have just written. So now you can see that I have actually hit used all the 10 requests and uh, there are zero left. And if I hit send, you will see in the body that uh, it says too many requests from this IP and please try again in 15 minutes. So this way, nobody can execute the bots. So now let's quickly add another thing over here in this middleware express JSON. So we can actually pass some kind of object inside this JSON. Okay, so we can actually limit this with the 10 KB. So it means that any data which is coming from the body request uh, from the client, uh, the data size should be maximum 10 KB. Okay. And we can increase that if we are building some kind of video streaming sites, usually the videos are pretty much large, but since our all APIs require JSON data in the body. Okay. If we go to our login and we see the body and these are just the kilobytes data and not even more than one kilobyte. Okay, so then we can add the limit over here. So nobody can send and fill up our database with the large number of data and that can cost us a lot of money. So this is very good option to add here. And next package which I would like to add here is the data sanitizer. So let's first install it, then I will explain you what it does. So I will write oh, npm install and it is called express mongo sanitize so it's actually installing let's try to import it at the top so const sanitize equals to express mongo sanitize so i need to write mongo and uh, i'm going to save it and this is the object which is created from this package now i just need to add it as a middleware in our project and uh, after the limit, I can add app dot use sanitize. Okay, so I'm going to write something after it. And what it does is it will remove any kind of uh, query formatted data, which is sent from the client side. So let's say someone don't send this email. Uh, instead, it sends some kind of mongoose query. Let's say the dollar GT colon something like that. And they can uh, this query can execute over uh, our database data can perform some query can fetch the data and this way they can uh, get uh, some restricted and the private data from our database as well. Okay, so in order to avoid that this data sanitize package actually helps us uh, avoid these kinds of query params because it modify that particular query. So it does not make sense to a mongoose. And this way, if someone try to send some kind of uh, these code in these params, in these objects along with the body, then this will help us to optimize and change that query. So next, uh, the final package which I want to use is XSS clean. So let's try to install it. So I'm going to write npm install XSS clean. Okay, and I'll hit enter and let's try to import it over here. So XSS equals to require and XSS clean. Okay, so now we need to add it as a middleware again. So app dot use XSS. So what it does is it will remove some malicious 
एच टी एम एल और जावा स्क्रिप्ट कोड पास विद द रिक्वेस्ट सो लेट से सम वन सेंड सम काइंड ऑफ एच टी एम एल ओवर हेयर और सम वन कैन पास द जावा स्क्रिप्ट स्क्रिप्ट ओवर हेयर लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस दे कैन एक्चुअली सेंड द लिंक्स और डाउनलोड सम काइंड ऑफ डाटा विच कैन एड इन ओवर डाटा बेस एंड कैन अफेक्ट एंड मेक ओवर डाटा बेस विद अलॉट ऑफ बग्स एंड इशूज एंड वायरसिज इन ओवर डाटा बेस सो वी नीड टू अवॉइड एंड रिमूव सच काइंड ऑफ कोड इट कैन बी एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट इट कैन बी जावा स्क्रिप्ट इट कैन बी जे क्यूरी सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पैकेज एक्चुअली रिमूव एवरी थिंग सो लेट मी रन द प्रोजेक्ट एंड ट्राई टू कॉल दिस ए पी आई uh this get notes and see after adding all of these middlewares if our project and apis are working fine or not so i'm not going to uh save this login request here i will hit this get note request again and it is actually returning us this data uh means that our all middlewares are working fine and it is not throwing any error so it means that oh, we have used a proper and the updated packages in our project so these four packages uh, really may matters and for the security for uh, for avoiding any kind of hacks or data leaks in our project so make sure you add these four packages in our project whenever you build node express server so thank you so much for watching if you like my video do subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below if you have any question thank you so much for watching